start with the index. Make sure you guys see me well. Let me adjust this. Okay. sure everything is perfect all right let's get started so first let's paint it a uh, all white background Make sure that I paint it thin on both sides because I'm going to boost some more layer on. So I don't want it to be too thick. Cure this. And I'll kiss it for 60 seconds. And I shall do the same for the pinky. set I think you're gonna love love this set because it's gonna be so hard and easy too except for the cheetah face it's gonna be more difficult but you don't have to do the face I just have to have the face in it okay now this finger gonna be cheetah so I'm, I'm still gonna paint it all white too Here it is. So I'm going to take some black and paint the cheetah pattern right away on it. Now I want an ombre, so I saw it right on the tips. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning, Shelby. Shelly. Hey, hey, Kira. Kira, Kira. So some black. Hello. Good morning, Jung. Hi. Hello, Jung. Okay. Put it in. Now I need um a liner brush. I choose seven millimeters. Okay. And I need a pointy brush. Okay. Let me clean my brush first. Okay, so with a pointy brush, I'm gonna make a little cheetah spot. One spot. Two spot. Okay. And then another spot right here. Make sure I clean my brush. And then take a liner brush, a dry liner brush, and connect these. Next is okay, and then what you do is you go ahead and fade it out. Just like that, okay? So that's gonna be a cheetah print that we're gonna do. So let's start with the pinky. I'm gonna cure that one. So let's start with the pinky. Okay. 
And when I come up here, I take less paint on my brush, so my black don't look as harsh. Okay. All right. Kelly Sugar. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Give me a second. Let me see a scribbler so I can. I can block the scribbler. Thank you, everyone. Sorry, I I really scared stand at the screen, but I just did. Thank you. Thank you. Let let me know. Let me know uh, if any any more scribbler. Let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna start connecting them now. Actually, I'm just facing. See up the up here, the one up here. Give me a second. You see the one up here? I'm gonna fade it out later. I'm just gonna face it down first. I'm gonna fade it down first. What the heck is a cat doing? They look like it's in heat again. What? The cat is in heat. What's going on? It's horny. Again, we have horny animal. I don't know why. I don't know where it take it from. Cause we, as a parent, is goody two shoe. So I don't know why our animal is so horny. Yeah. Care this. Same thing on the uh, index. This is so relaxing too. Boy of painting. What if I don't want to be a boy this month? What if I want to be like a fox? You're gonna have to identify something that rhymes with joy. It's not much to work with. Hey, you want some kitten food? Are the dogs out killing each other? See how easy it is, guy. You just remember to be light on your touch. Don't be too um, manly. A lot of uh, lady have a manly touch, you know, when they when they making fur like this. But they 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 they, they um, scribbler, you know. They like 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 um I call it like a chicken feet stroke, where they apply insane amount of pressure onto the art. And then they go, am I doing okay? And they say, lighters. Okay. It's fading out just like this. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, the inside of this needs to be a little furry too. Okay, here it is. 
You know, if you have shaky hand, that's perfect for it too. Yeah, is it gonna be cheetah print? But you know, I'm not gonna do a cheetah print. I gotta do the face of the cheetah too. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out now. I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna mix a brown pigment and ombre it up. I wanna see uh, what happened when I do that. So, this is exciting. So I'm gonna have to mix a brown pigment first. So I'm gonna take, take this piece of paper Get some pigment. This is what I'm gonna use today. Now I'm taking out a pigment brush. This is a pigment brush I'm gonna use. Clean up my pigment, excess pigment. All right. Get some new paper towels. Got the pigment box. Now I need orange first. Okay. Put plenty of pigment here because I'm gonna do uh, probably three fingers like that. So some orange. And I also need blue and purples. And then more orange. Let's see what it become. I want to make a brown for the cheetahs. Okay, this seems to be perfectly brown. Purple, when you mix with yellow and orange, it makes this gold. It's beautiful colors. It's very attractive for fall. Look at that. That's beautiful for the fall. Ooh, yes. Okay, mix it well. Okay, this seems to be perfect. Now, I'm taking this and since the white palette is still wet, since there's still a tacky layer on it, I'm going to go ahead and dust it into over the black too. And you see these metal right here, this groove, the alley, you know, this little black spot, and then these the little groove in between. I'm going to try to leave a little white in between it. Okay. Now, I blend it up. Softly though, not too much. Then this brown, I mix with white pigment. Just ha just part of it, not all of it, just part of it. I mix with white pigment to make a lighter tan and continue ombre up. You see, you don't need matte top coat in this because this is not the whole nail ombre. This, there's detail in this. So you cannot really see imperf imperfection in this. That's why you don't really need matte for this. Okay, now I'm dust it off. And I need to uh, find a uh, duster. What is some? Do you think? 
this and it's a big ass brush. Okay, find another brush. Okay, so I'm gonna dust this off and then I need a pointy brush. So I'm gonna find myself a pointy brush. So I'm gonna use this pointy brush right here and some Aston. And what I'm gonna do is, you see this, this little uh, black spot? I'm gonna clean this up a little. Don't have to clean all of it, just a little bit inside, away from the pigment, see that? That make it pretty cool too. Clean just a little bit. Erase some of this for the white. Okay, now clear this. On this finger, I do the same things. So now you know the drills. You have brown pigment. Actually, I, I don't really need to repeat it because you guys can see it later. The, uh, the brown pigment that I just make. This is so cool for the fall. This, uh, this is the first time that I do cheetah in this style too. Dust it up lightly. And then use tan colors. This is a lighter color. The tan color to uh, further extend it up. Yeah, um, it's important to have some sort of sticky layers. If not, then it wouldn't blend up. I love to blend using this super pigment too. Look at the clarity of the colors. All right. Now, remove this using an Aston. Remove the black. Okay, now clear this. All right, so now first I'm gonna put a deeper brown on this and then I'm gonna put, use white to hi further highlight this as a uh, fur in between. So I'm taking out a darker brown. Um, I'm gonna try to find like a brown polish. This brown is pretty good, it's dark enough.
Or actually, maybe if I try brown ink so I don't cover up the black. Let me see. Cut polish will cover up the detail. Let me see. I'm gonna take this brown ink. I'm gonna try to use this brown ink to see if it cut ink, it don't cover up uh, polishes. It's sort of, it tinted, but it's see through in dark colors. Like black, it doesn't cover up the black. Let me see. See that? It can go through the black. Yeah, ink is better. All right, so I'm gonna use ink for this spot in the middle. Same thing on this one. Put an ink in here. This is a pointy brush, by the way, so it can soak up all the ink and then distribute it right in the middle. Liner brush will be way too small for this to soak up the ink. And like over a flat brush, it can soak up the ink, but it's too big to, um, it's not detailed enough to do this in the middle of the uh, spots. So for this, you, you want to find a, like a round brush or like a pointy brush, big bigger than the liner brush so it can soak up all the ink but still detail enough so you can work within this area right here. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take white. This white polish. And this white, I'm gonna add a little brown ink in this white. Take my engraver to mix it up. I'm gonna chew the mixers. What 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 happened? Something about Hannah put read back animal porn. Animal porn? Right. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe we have an only fan for it. And I'm trying to figure out how we got to that conversation. I know. I'm oh, I was talking about the horny cat late oh. lately. It's it's so horny, and I don't know where I get it from. Okay, so. You don't know. Uh, let me see here. I'm gonna take this lighter, really light, light, but not white. It's kind of beige, <coughs> beige. Give it some highlight. Here it is. Same thing on this.
This will give it some more definition, some highlight. Okay, this. Now I'm gonna map this. This is what I'm using. And I still want to put in some more brown. So I'm gonna kill this for only five seconds first. One, two, three, four, five. Let's dust it on some more brown. on the tip. I'm in and out. Huh? What happened? Oh, somebody asked if I was there. That's when it's in and out. I'm, I'm babysitting, killing each other puppies. Well, actually, I'm just watching them. I'm not really... <laughs> Look at that. I love that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Uh, yes. Takes five seconds to cure the mat. Mm-hmm. This too, I'm gonna put some mat on. This mat is cell leveling. So when you put a uh, pigment on, it's not streaky. If your mat is not cell leveling, then it will be streaky when you put the pigment on. Wait for it to be nice and smooth. Now, here. One, two, three, four, five. This one's still a little shiny, so I'm gonna kill a little more. One, two, three. Okay. See the bottom all matte? Now I'm gonna take some pigment and brush it on. Just on the bottom, kind of fade it up. I want it to look gradual and make an ombre beautiful. Look at that. <coughs> All right, now we have the cheetah. Let's put on cheetah face. Let's do the cheetah face. I don't know why I'm so excited when I do something dramatic. This one is okay. I mean, it's just a technique. Well, it looks great. Yeah, cheetah. Yeah. It's a technique, so it's fast, it's easy, but uh, the cheetah face is going to be fun. But you, you need to teach them and then have a challenge for you, and that's what you love to challenge. Yeah. So the face is going to be funner. Scribbler. Got a scribbler. Yeah, I've noticed they are on. This must be a good time for them in their country. Must be. It's really beautiful handwriting, though. I just wish we knew. Mm -hmm. I just erasing just a little bit inside, so it show a black more. I think Chicky is on too. Hi, Chicky. Kill this because I only kill this mat for five seconds. I'm gonna keep killing this while I take this Y. And I'm gonna make the face for the cheetah. So we have to Google cheetah face. Oh, so excited! <coughs> cheetah face. Let's see. Cheetah face. Oh, which one? Oh, should I do one like this or one that are uh, open mouth? Mm, I don't want I don't want it to be too angry looking. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. This one should do. Snap! Oh, so excited to do the face. Let's draw the face. So, this one is the middle fingers. So, I'm gonna just uh, take some black polish, just normal black polish right here, and a uh, liner brush, 10 millimeters liner brush, and sketch it. I'm so excited. Okay. All right. Okay. Wow. 
Huh? Why do you don't let them out here? Huh? Why do you don't let them uh, out? Because they're muddy. Oh, okay. I've been wiping them off. Okay, so I'm gonna draw the head of the cheetah. It's which is simple. Start with a little V right here. I'm gonna put jewelry like on top of here for the cheetah. This is for the ear. And then kind of like one line down, but lightly. This is where the eye of the cheetah is. Give it proper spacing. Now you draw a slight curve on each side. Then give it a little slant and go straight down. Then this side, give it a definite curve. Underneath is a big, big curve. On top, little curve. On in the bottom, big curve. Like that. Now, the nose. Give it proper spacing. See the distance of the eye. Same distance for the nose. One line through. Make a curve down. Then a line down, going down. And then draw a little more loop down here for the nose. See that? Now give it a little slant for the mouth. Uh, equal distance with the eyes. No, not too sad. Have to be happier. If it too slant, then it looks sad. Have to be happy. Start right here. Okay, now. Start going up, slant it up. Queen kitties, queen puppies. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get the tips? Let's slant it up. Uh, DM me, I, uh, I, I will send it to you. It's on Amazon. Slant it up. Slant it up. Then connect these. Okay. Now, start to make a slight curve. Look at that mouth. That's a mean bitch right there. Mm-hmm. It'll bite your head up if you touch it. Yes. I love it. Okay. Now, it's the ear. So, start from here. You make a little curve. So from here you make a little curve. Just like this. Let me know if there is a script plus. Let me know. Okay. There's one. There's one? Yeah. Mm, mash it. Oh. Shit, I actually follow her. <gasps> okay, I block her now. <laughs> okay, now <clears throat> the face should end about right here, so it doesn't matter where you go, it's end here. Okay, that's for the face. So from here, I'm gonna curve, give it a little curve to this point. Okay. 
Same thing over here. Yes, yes, bot force if you're able. Just do it like that. This one is might be low lower to equal with the other side. Okay. Now the bottom, however, what I'm going to do with the bottom, oh, I should draw the, like a necklace. So, uh, this is the head of this cheetah. I'm going to draw a little shoulder down. And I'm going to give the cheetah a little necklace. Like so, the necklace like going to be here-ish. Let me go ahead and paint it, too. So when I bedazzle it, it's gonna be easier for me. <clears throat> Scribbles. Big Scribbler. Big <sighs> Scribbler. Okay. Now, here I want a little, a big fancy stone. So I'm gonna draw the shape of the stone. I know the stone that I have, so I'm gonna draw this shape. I have this shape of stone. is a crystal that I'm going to use. <laughs> okay, now, on each side, I'm going to have a row of stone going down. I'm going to use SS5 crystal for that. And then, um, some bead up here too. And then some bead down here too. So I'm gonna color it all black. Now usually you would draw this out for them, but that's always on <clears throat> above the surface, so. Mm -hmm. You can't actually draw on this, can you? No, if you want to use a pencil to draw, you have to put on top coat first. No white top coat. And then you buff it and draw it. But I only do it with faces or something that are very, like power pup girl, that, that I draw it because it's very definite. But this is not definite. This is like abstract. Cheetah face is not really anything... It, could all cheetah look the same, really. You can paint an ugly cheetah and people wouldn't know. Only only che the author cheetah, their friend would know that they're ugly. But people wouldn't know. People think all cheetah look the same. <laughs> Scribbles. 